CBC News. It's 3 o'clock. Good afternoon. I'm Gary Hampshire. Here's the news for the Maritimes. Nova Scotians are going to the polls to vote in a provincial election on August 17th. Ian Rankin asked the Lieutenant Governor this morning to dissolve the current legislature, beginning a summer campaign. And I got news for you. I'll make my prediction right here. Ian Ranklin, uh, the only reason I rem remember his name is I just heard it on the radio. Uh, he will not be re-elected. Uh, he wasn't elected by the people in the first time. He got, uh, he won a uh, nomination, a leadership convention. And anyway, he's given, it's too obvious that the people around him are doing the thinking for him. And the people around him wants to benefit from this guy. So I believe I'm making a prediction. Uh, they can't really say that he did a good job during the coronavirus. That's what every premier that goes to an election in Canada, people say, well, he did a good job during the coronavirus. I'm gonna re I'm gonna vote for him. Blaine Higgs and look what's going on now. So focus Charles. So Ian Reckland is not premier material. I'm very sorry. It's it's so obvious that the people that benefit will be the people in his office and his entourage. And I think Nova Scotia is going to see that. And uh, I think the NDP might return again in that in that province or a huge, huge minority uh, government. NDP or... I, I can't see this guy winning. I can't see it.